Hi there everyone, in this video I'd like to show you how to make your second lever on your new Turnigy 9XR a self-centering one. To do so you'll need to get a self-centering lever kit from RC Tanks Australia um, and that will come with a, a lever, surprise surprise, a length of brass rod and a second resin catch part. A little part there. You'll also need to find yourself a second spring. I um, haven't been able to source the springs, but uh, those of you with your Heng Long tanks can easily grab a, I'll put it there so it's easy to be seen, uh, a uh, small extension spring from your old Heng Long receiver. Before you get stuck into it, you'll probably need a few tools. Uh, of course, you'll need a trusty screwdriver, uh, some tweezers, and a good tool to have, well, a good part to have, is a small length of thin wire. This will help us uh, attach on the uh, extension spring. Okay, so there's all the things you'll need. It's a little bit more complicated than with the uh, normal 9X. And there are a few parts we need to uh, put together. First thing you'll need to do, obviously, is turn over your 9XR and unscrew all the screws. There are many more screws on the back of the 9X to undo. I have prepared this one a bit earlier, so the top, it's still without the screws it's still hard to get the back off. Unlike the uh, old 9X, the uh, back comes away quite separate. So that can be put over there. For those of you who hadn't, haven't had a look inside the new 9XR, there you go. It's uh, a bit disappointing what uh, Turnigy or well, what Hobby King have done here. They're ISP interface is exactly the same as what you would get if you bought a normal upgraded 9XR, say from RC Tanks Australia. Simply six wires wired onto the solar pads on the PCB. So nothing special, same mod that all of us have been doing for years. Okay, now this is the lever we need to make self centering, this lever here. Now, unlike the 9X radio you just had to pop a lever in there and uh, and the spring and everything would be done with the 9xr you can bring this up closely you can see there is no pin for attachment of the second lever no support pins and also nothing inside there to hold the extension spring so this whole unit here the whole gimbal unit needs to be popped out. So before you do that, take note of these connections here, what connects up. So this connection here connects up to this plug, so we will need to unplug this from here. No, actually, better off to unplug it from here actually. So that connection will connect back up to here when we're done, and unplug this connection. Okay. Now we need to get our trusty screwdriver. Might get a smaller screwdriver. And there are four, four screws that we need to get at. Uh, you'll see them. You carefully move the wires up in there. One, might be a bit hard to see. Two, three, and four. What I'll do is I'll pause this video here. I will unscrew this gimbal and take that out. Um, and um, get back to you.